on everybody and welcome back to another episode of the two count um, this one's going to be a little bit different than most i want to talk to you about the contract status of aj styles and where that could potentially lead to but before i do that i ask you guys to please like this video subscribe to the channel we want y'all to kick out with us so Let's talk about AJ Styles. AJ Styles has had one of the most remarkable runs in WWE for a new established veteran talent um, in quite some time. He got to skip NXT. He got that amazing debut at the Royal Rumble, had a great feud about with Roman Reigns, earned Vince's trust, and has literally carried the SmackDown brand for the past four years. Um, there's nothing to say about AJ other than his run with WWE has been quite phenomenal. Now, while I think he would be better in a heel role, he's played that Bret Hart, you know, talks with his actions role quite well on SmackDown, um, and there's nothing really to complain about. He can stay with WWE, he will be positioned at the top of the card. This is the first time where I could probably say that a talent did not suffer from booking upon coming to WWE. They've used him, they've used him often, and they used him well. But I'm gonna highlight something here the words they've used him often. So one of the main reasons or rumored reasons that AJ dropped the title to Daniel Bryan is that AJ is currently in a contract dispute with WWE. AJ's contract expires within the next few months. Um, and the reason that he's been holding off signing the contract isn't money, it's time, right? Which as all of us who are parents know, the most valuable thing to a parent is time. AJ wants to work a more part-time schedule, less house shows, right? It's not about the TV tapings. You know, he could be away from his family one day a week and a pay-per-view every four weeks. Where AJ seeing it is doing this, uh, you know, very, very complex, 300 days on the road, house days, house, uh, house show schedule. So AJ wants reduced dates. This is where the, con uh, the conversation really goes. AJ can stay with WWE. WWE is probably not going to give him much flexibility with dates, but there's a group of people in Jacksonville who would clamor at the chance to have AJ Styles. And trust me, the money is there to sign him. The money is there to put a comparable out offer out there to WWE, if not match WWE's offer and give him the reduced schedule that he wants. So the real question is here, where will AJ Styles sign when his contract is up? Is AJ set to stay in WWE? I mean, the way it stands right now, AJ has had a Hall of Fame career in the few short years that he's there. He's carried the WWE title. I think he's got like the second longest reign or third longest reign um, in modern history. He has won the United States Championship. He's won the WWE Championship, I believe, twice now. He's put together a great run both on Raw and on SmackDown. He's had some elite matches, um, some matches that will have, but his matches versus Samoa Joe were great. His match versus Roman Reigns was great. Um, so AJ's put on a great show, and he realizes now that he's winding down on the tail end of his career. His young kids are also getting older. So the real question is, does he sign with all elite wrestling? Now, I've had this conversation with many people online who feel AJ is not going anywhere. And look, chances are AJ isn't going to go anywhere. Guys waited a very long time to get to WWE, and it's very unlikely that he leaves. However, the Young Bucks are good friends with AJ. They can offer him that reduced schedule that he looks for to spend time with his children. AEW is headquartered in Jacksonville, and AJ lives in Atlanta, Georgia. So, any event within the Jacksonville area would be very, very close to AJ's hometown. He would be very close to corporate. So although the common sense answer here is that AJ is going to stay with WWE, I don't want to take the chance away that he could sign with AEW. Another factor here to think about in terms of AJ signing with AEW is the fact that when their contract is up, which is also relatively soon, the Good Brothers, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, could very seriously potentially jump to AEW. They would get featured better, they won't be buried on the card, they would have the reduced schedule, and they would also make comparable money. 
the the probability of them going to AEW was very strong. Now remember, it was AJ that dragged Gallows and Anderson to WWE with him. As a matter of fact, he almost positioned it as a package deal. So if he likes being that close to Gallows and Carl Anderson, is it possible that if they jump to AEW, uh, that could influence AJ's decision? Absolutely. Another piece of it is, along with AJ, Shinsuke Nakamura signed at the exact time. Shinsuke, another guy that has been incredibly underutilized by WWE. Shinsuke and AJ are also very good friends, and the probability of Shinsuke jumping to AEW is very, very strong. So, my question there is, not only are we now talking about, not my question, but my statement there is, not only are we talking about time and being with his family more, but we're also talking about joining his friends, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, and Shinsuke Nakamura, along with the Young Bucks and any other indie talent that he's friends with in this new promotion. Now, again, I'm just prefacing. It is highly uh, improbable that he does go. What I am saying is there are a lot of factors that point to the fact that there is a chance that AJ Styles becomes elite. Now, let me guys know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that AJ Styles will join All Elite Wrestling? Do you think he's staying in WWE? Let me know why in the comments below. Um, I ask you guys again to please like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. We're asking you guys to kick out with us. Y'all have yourselves a great night. I look forward to chatting next time. Bye.